Gradually, Firstman worked out how the Maya marked time, a system now called the calendar round. The calendar round is made up of three interlocking cycles, a 365-day solar year, a cycle of 20 names, and a cycle of 13 numbers. Days are designated by the way these three cycles line up. For example, this day is 3, Manik, and the 14th of the month, Pope, followed by 4, Lamat, 15, Pope, 5, Muluk, 16, Pope, and so on. 52 years will pass before the three cycles line up in the same way again. Then, these days will repeat. Like our days of the week, the calendar round cycles on and on forever. It is not by itself tied to any specific starting point in history. But Firstman's greatest triumph came when he realized that some very large numbers in the Venus pages of the Dresden were counts back in time. They tied the Venus records to an historical starting point thousands of years earlier. It fell on the calendar round day, four Ahau, eight Kumku. From Maudsley's photographs, Firstman knew that this extraordinarily ancient date appeared throughout the Maya world, from Palenque in northern Chiapas to Quirigua in southern Guatemala. Firstman concluded that for the Maya, this date marked the creation of the universe. Just as Western culture measures its history from the birth of Christ, so the Maya measured their history from the date of creation. This system of dating is known as the long count. 